That's lovely. So where do okay. you stand on the whole, like, video games or art uh, ever going? Whenever there's a discussion about this, uh, I always, there's a quote from a Scottish author. My God, his name escapes me at the moment, Alistair Gray. And he said, like, because people go back and forth on what art is. And when you say art, it sounds like a really distant thing that people don't, oh, no. Death. That people don't appreciate or like. You know, it's something that hangs on a wall somewhere that we don't get to see. But that's, yeah. that's not what I would consider to be art. And Alistair Gray said, art is anything that makes people think about their thoughts and feel about their thinking. Mm. And, and what that means is it's just anything that makes people kind of more sensitive to the plight of other human beings and just think more about their place in the world. Yeah. You know, and and as far as I'm concerned, video games have been doing that for, for ages. Yeah. Um, I think the last game that did that specifically for me would probably be Valiant Hearts this year. Man, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because that made me weep. And it also, I thought it presented World War One in such a way. Not even just World War One, but war in general. Uh-oh. Uh... Okay, we're good. Um, but it made me feel like kind of... Brace! I don't know, the weight of what's going on and, and like uh, of what our kind of ancestors sacrificed for us and... I think like it's just... really easy to say video games are, I think you're going to need to jump, are, are the wrong medium to remember and, you know, celebrate the memory of those people because mm. it's such an important thing. But... I mean, if you're truthful about it, there are loads of people who will engage with the video game who won't engage with a documentary on BBC Two mm. or anything like that. Um, and if I don't think that there's anything wrong with... I mean, that game in particular was different. You know, it's not like a COD or something. It was... A, I'm trying to pull this down. It was a game... Whoa! Uh -oh. Looks very much like I deliberately killed you there, but that's not what happened. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm just a bit <laughs> stunned. Um... Yeah, the, the, you know, the, that game brought a message to people who wouldn't have otherwise heard it. And I feel like that's, that mm. can only be a good thing. I Is, thought it was quite good in educating as well, because it also had, like, the optional extra of, like, kind of... Similar to this game, where here's the base game, here's the base story. I've got to Ow. get it up. I do have to get it up. Okay. Um, but... Um, there were ex extras for you to kind of read up on. So in Valiant Hearts, there were optional like artifacts that you could pick up, and then that unlocked a bit of history and a bit of story about it all. Right. Okay. Um, so, oh no. Um, so like in this one, you know, we've unlocked documentary videos filmed um, with the tribe of um, Alaska natives. Yeah. Um, that you know, if you want to, you can go and I'm, I'm instinctively braced there. I should have just jumped um, and read up on it more. And certainly when before we started recording this, I went and did a little bit of research because I wanted to kind of, you know, just learn a bit more. And also, like, I just I'd always find it death um, fascinating to learn about new people, new cultures and stuff like that. And I must admit, Alaska is somewhere I don't know anything much about. Um, so, yeah, I've really enjoyed kind of. So I think I, I think I mean even you know Yogscast especially there isn't like a huge I don't think most of the people watching this you know love the big AAA games necessarily no. anyway they're they're interested I mean what's always struck me about like Minecraft obviously the most popular thing at Yogscast and for Yogscast audiences and it's because you can tell stories with it just mm. endlessly like the things that you know the, all the inventiveness of that game is putting you in situations where a group of people can tell you a kind of story I think that's like that's really interesting I think you need to pull that one down yeah. But I, st I think there's something to be said for... Uh, whoa! Sorry. You know, like, there's moments in loads of games you wouldn't necessarily expect it, which kind of just touch me and kind of, you know, just mm. make you think about stuff. Like, I always... Like, Uncharted 2 is one of my favourite games, even though, you know, it's just it's basically like a, a parade. You know, like, the game's only ever going to go one way. Yeah. But at the same time, when he wakes up in that village and instead of punching people, the button for melee attack is you go around and shake people's hands. And, yeah. And you just say hello, you pat a cow and you play soccer <laughs> with some kids and stuff. You know, that stuff's amazing. Yeah. Have we missed the boat here? I think, uh, whoa, whoa, let's see if I can get this one. Yeah, if you could pull that I've one I've pulled it down. down. Maybe I should get it up instead. Yeah. Get up. And this one? There you go. I like that. I like their creepy little tree hands. Um, I think I'm sinking. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like we've missed... Yeah, um, yeah I'm, okay. I'm dead. All right, I'm just going to fly over here. <laughs> Warn me! Warn me! <laughs> I'll remember you mm. as soon as I finish having a really good time flying. I think we need to make that first one. So uh, I'm going to pull you, you up. Lift me up. Can I make that one? Yeah. 
Oh my god, that's backwards that and now you're backwards. dead. That was backwards. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm still alive. I'm just stuck. Uselessly alive. You've got to fall into the water. Okay. Go on. Get in the water. <laughs> Go on. Get out. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm coming too. <laughs> you're you're immortal though. <laughs> oh, a sad bear man. Wolfman. I guess like in terms of Minecraft as well, and especially what we've done in the Yogg's cast, we've sort of essentially created our own folklore. Hmm. And going back to the story, you know, oh god, you just gotta check our Tumblr feed for how much people love the story and love seeing like adding to it and, and adding, you know, kind of I don't know, weird things like why I've got the flux and stuff like that and yeah, the rivalries absolutely. between us all and you know, I mean God, just Shadow of Israel, you know? I mean that's what's interesting about the, the I mean oh, oh that was that was bad. That was bad. I, am I? Yeah. You are already dead. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not necessarily the stories in the games themselves. It's the canvas that they mm. like. You know, it's the arena, the platform that they give you to tell a story. And I think that's something that's also like just so fantastically human is the need for story. Mm. Like it goes back so far through human, you know, just even like cave paintings. You know, the, as soon as humans could communicate and draw and do all this amazing stuff, they. They wrote stories, you know, and it was like I mean that's what interested me about this more than anything was just knowing that there were nice that there were cultures. I'm gonna lift that up as far as it goes. Cultures which depended upon storytelling, like I said, like ver like it was an oral tradition. Like people wouldn't write stuff down; they would just. Could you bring the hand over there? I can't. I don't think it goes sideways. What's happening now? Yeah. Oh, oh. face plant. <laughs> so close. Can you imagine what a mess you'd be after that? <laughs> I don't think it would be any of my concern. It's all right though. Okay, brace, 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 brace. Okay. Really? Oh no, no, the, the the tree is here now, so it will save you if you hit the bottom. Ow. Oh. I'm all right though. Oh, I'm, all right. God. I'm all right. I'm all right. Just a bit, a bit of a broken nose. I'm blind. <laughs> I'm blinded! It's gonna be fine. Here's a creepy little monster guy. But I mean, yeah, I think definitely the concept from this of elders telling stories to the young people to guide them isn't e exclusive to Alaskan natives at all, you know? It's, um... Are you gonna bother it? No, exactly. That's a worldwide thing. Do you, I mean, like, I remember, uh, if there was... Oh, man. Oh, here's your, your evil killer. Oh, I hate that guy! <sighs> Hey, jerk. This guy sucks. I'm gonna. Hello. You're gonna have to help me. I think you're probably gonna have to like lift, lift, oh, I'm so, Nathan, I'm far Nathan, I'm, for the love I'm of God. I'm far away. I'm far away. <laughs> How can I swim in the air quicker? Here we go. We'll come back to our story on folklore in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Once right. we've done running Bo away from that bad man. Bola, bola, bola. Bola, bola, bola. <laughs> This is look. You, you are swimming. Look. I am. I'm going as fast as I can. Use your powers. Shh. Go. I'm gonna block him. I am Ow. completely oh dead. Oh my god! He can kill you. You've killed me twice. You absolute. Oh, was that me? Dick. No, that was me. Oh, I think I went into the fire. I think I thought the fire bit was like in the background, home. and it was actually not. I'm home. It, it's I'm in... gonna try and see if I can block him off, but I need to be quick. Yeah. So that is not in the background. <laughs> it's in the foreground. <laughs> It's good that you've double checked. Yeah, yeah, I just I just thought I'd do that. It's quite troublesome. Swim, swim my little spirit friend. <laughs> Save me from death. This guy's quite oh, fat he does, and angry. He does not care about me pulling that down. Ooh. What are you going to do? Good call. I'm going to bowler it. The answer to everything is just to bowler it. <laughs> Don't bowler it. Oh my god. Um <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Fox spirit, help! There we go. Guide me. Ooh. Man, running through snow sucks. What can I do here? Nothing. I've got nothing here. Oh, you got to make that jump. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, he's horrible. I know. What's his beef? He wants to. Nath. He wants to bowler. We've got to. Nath. Go oh, I'm gonna keep you up. I'm gonna keep you up. It's gonna be fine. You it's can't not, see me. It's not going to be fine, is it? It's not, I mean, it's not. <clears throat> Can I jump up there? I'm just going to try and move you, okay? Ooh. 
Well, oh. direct it. <clears throat> what? What? I mean, is is it, what is it that I can move you around here? I can't yeah. move you very fast. So, where, he, where does he start? He starts, he starts off on to the right and goes so to I'm the left. So I'm going to pull you left. No, right. Even. Here. This is what definitely what I'm going to do. Pull you that way. All right. Now you go to the left of the platform. Okay, I'm on the left of the platform. I'm going to pull you to the right. Okay. There we go. Nice. This is a better plan. Okay. Ready? Do it. Oh, maybe gone too early. No, it's no, fine. No, it's all right. It's fine. Can we jump that yet? We've killed him. In your stupid face. How do you like them apples? Drown. <sighs> I'm really glad that's over. Enjoy the agony of drowning. Yeah. Also, the fox was still there. Manslayer. I like being upside down. <laughs> <laughs> you love being a little ghost, don't you? What's it going to be like when we finish this game and you're going to be back to being a... Just a regular, lumpy human man. Yeah, a human. Really disappointing. So since this is about elders telling stories to their children to guide them in the world... Yeah. What do you tell your children? Mostly stories about stuff I did wrong when I was a kid. Do you know, it's funny, because I was always... I was quite... Sorry, to put my head in the snow. I was quite <laughs> a young parent, so, like, I think I've got, like... Uh, my kids are 12 and 8. They're really... It's ter I was there. thinking about that the other day, like when I first met you and your kids, and like they were, they were tiny. Yeah, and now they're old and terrifying. Yeah, they run rings around me. I I babysat for Nath once, and I never I'm never doing it again. Done it again. Um, so yeah, it's normally just you know, well I did you know especially Maddie. Maddie's like terrifying. She's really smart, but she's really willful and just stubborn and. And I keep, you know, I tell her stories about like, oh, I know, how, I know exactly how you're feeling when you're cross with someone, and you kind of want to make up, but you don't want to let go of how, how kind of nice and hot that anger feels, you know. Yeah. So I just mostly tell them stories like that. Yeah. Otherwise, they just read books. Like what? I'm trying to think of something they they both read. Uh, I read. There's a. They read a lot of Roald Dahl, actually. Yeah. Yeah. They're both, they're both into that. And then uh, Jay's reading The Hunger Games. Oh, my God. I don't know if there's many lessons to be taken from The Hunger Games. You're still alive. That's good. What is that? Is it the whale? <laughs> no, it's a giant. Oh, my God. It's a nice giant. Getting a Shadow of the Colossus flashback. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I could never finish Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> Presumably we've got to stop him, so it's going to be Shadow of the Colossus all over again. <sighs> Can't we just talk to him? <laughs> Did you talk to them in Shadow of the Colossus? I was unable to. Surely you've gone the wrong way there. I'm stuck, you've trapped me. <laughs> Look, we've got to be friends on this. After all the things you've done. Look, you literally just called me my friend. So be my friend on this. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to fly off with him. Reading the weather. See, actually, they, um, in kind of researching on all of this, they said that um problem right now for Native Alaskans is global warming. Yeah. Because um, they're having real problems with the ice kind of cracking up and melting and there's less polar bears which are their source of um well rarely but loads of jokes about polar bears big source of jokes yeah yeah really i can't remember any right now i think we gotta go back go on then give me a joke about polar bears i was just trying to think of one yeah. actually but i can't i do like this p 
pictures of polar bears covering up their nose when they're hunting. Oh yeah. They're so you can't see like a black dot. Yeah. Right, we got. We, it's got to be something to do with this. Yeah, probably this platform. Right, I'm gonna find a thing. That. But yeah, they still hunt seals and stuff. Uh oh. I was really, I was listening. I went to bed quite late last night. I was listening to Rod Sharp on Radio Five. He was there was a story about uh, seals and stuff. Why are you down there? Because you went away and made the spirit go away. Seals now sometimes attack and eat dolphins, which is very very unusual. Why do they do that? Just just is the world gone mad? Yeah, I don't know. Because they're tasty, I guess. They just finally figured it out. <laughs> They've been friends for, <laughs> for millennia. Ages. Yeah. And now they're like, actually, you're really during, tasty. During a play fight. Wait a minute. Hey, I'll tell you what I was listening to today in the car. Mm -hmm. That was really interesting. Was a BBC podcast. Um, <sighs> ooh, I know what i got to do. I know what i got to do. Um, done by, you know, Charlie Higson? Oh, yeah. From, is he in League of Gentlemen? Uh, I no, know he, he's in the Far Show. He's in the Far Show, yeah. Um, but it, it did have Reese Shearsmith from um, League of Gentlemen. Yeah. And um, it was a British Library podcast where he was talking about the kind of origins of Gothic literature. Oh, nice. And um, sort of the origins of Frankenstein and Dracula and our obsession with stories about vampires and... Um, yeah, monsters. Monsters. And it was cool. it was really good. Like, I highly recommend it. Um, ooh, I just want to... Oh, I thought you could be... Ooh, no! Oh. I'm so uh, Just stood there, just watching. Maybe you need to go that way first. Maybe, I don't know. No, there you no. go. Okay, I guess you jump now when it goes back this way. Yeah. Wee! I'm flying! Um. Ooh, this, this one's strange and curious. Okay, so if you pull me over that way. Go? Is he going any further? He's going. Yeah, he's going. You've got to wait for the wind, oh, I guess. No! Oh, no, no, no! You've killed me. You've doomed me. So you go, just wait for the wind, and then I think we'll, we'll see how far it goes. Yeah. Don't go too far. I'll just go slow. Wrong way! Oh, it how high can you climb up it? Oh, it's really teasing! <laughs> it was a teasing wind. <laughs> Here we go. Right, we, we're going to do it this time. I can Come feel on. it. I can feel it. Come on! Over. over. It's okay. See, it's doing its little, like... Just... Now or never! Oh, oh my God. that was close. That was oh, really just, close. Just in a second. That was, was really the other close. option. Wait, is that a thing? Yeah, so you've got to go up. And I'm then... Not sure I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Wait for it to go. And then... All right. Maybe I can just go? Yeah. Okay. If you bring him up. There you go. To wait for Ooh. the wind? Sorry, I can do it. I can do it. I think I've got to be careful on this bit if the wind blows. I don't know. Maybe it will work. Maybe there's no wind. Oh, that was a bit glitchy. There's a wind. I think you can make that first bit. Okay, you just gotta make sure it's gonna be the right wind. I've no, done it. Fine. 